Honestly, you do not want to be here right now. It is the hottest I have ever felt in London. It's all because of that building beside me. Um, Jim Watterson is a reporter on City AM. He's just cooking up some lunch here. I can't even lift it up. It's actually that hot. He's just baked fried an egg uh, here on the streets of London. He's just putting that in there for his story. It is so hot. It is so hot. Um, there you go. He has just cooked that egg on a frying pan on the streets of London. If you just look back down there, our cameraman Jim, those tiles have just popped off in the heat. That's how hot it is. It is like being under a magnifying glass, and we need to get into the shade, actually. Uh, we have with us a solar physicist who is Dr. Simon Foster. If we can just kind of <laughs> squeeze this. Uh, this street in London is uh, rapidly becoming a tourist say, place. It is ridiculous. Luckily, I've it come is. dressed for it, but it's focused down here. The building behind us is focused down. I've never felt heat like this. I left stupidly left my bag out. And you probably see, so this is actually, it got up to 92.6 degrees. That's Celsius. That's Celsius. So that's how hot, I stu as I say, I left one of my boxes out that actually contained this. And that's how hot you get. It's, it, you can't believe how hot it is. It's, um, it's actually really unpleasant to Simon, actually be out in it. you're a solar physicist. Mm. Just explain this to us, because this, I've never felt like this in London. So it's basically, it's like a satellite dish. When you've got a satellite dish, it converges or forces radio waves down onto a point, and then you've got your transceiver at which you receive them. Now, you can do the same with light, and that's what this building is doing. Basically, you've got a vast area that's collecting sunlight, and it's focusing it down onto a tiny point, which is where we're standing. So all that sunlight that's hitting that building is being focused down there. It's like being under a magnifying glass as a kid. You know when you can burn stuff? That's what we're in. It's like a giant version of that, and we're feeling the effects. It's really deeply unpleasant. I'm sweating here just talking <laughs> oh, yeah, to you. Let's look ridiculous. at the statement. We've got a statement uh, from the owners of the building, which we can take a look at now. They say the phenomenon is caused by the current elevation of the sun in the sky. It currently lasts for approximately two hours per day, with initial modelling suggesting that it will be present for approximately two to three weeks. Uh, Dr Simon Foster from Imperial College London your reading of that statement? Well, obviously, if you're here for those two to three weeks, now it's two hours, and obviously we can walk past, these buildings can't. So they're going to be caught in the focus of it, and just as you see there, you're going to be able to basically burn stuff with it. It's, it's kind of, from a scientific point of view, I find this fantastic. You know, it's really interesting. I want to come down to see what happens to these buildings over the next few weeks, but, you know, for those couple of weeks, this is ridiculous. It is so hot here, I cannot explain. It is ridiculous.